If you're using the Android phone and you find yourself paying too much attention to or you find it too distracting, then this is the video that could definitely help you. Hey, I'm Adam Moody with the Productivity Academy. And over the last couple of months, I've noticed actually I'm using my phone more and more when I don't necessarily need to. And I consider myself pretty good at putting it down or having a routine to leave it in a different room. Uh, but I noticed there was times when I just needed to have it or I was just having trouble staying on top of not using it as much. So I started looking back into ways to make it less distracting and came across this way to do it on Android phones, on Apple or iOS devices. I believe that there is a similar way to do it. I don't have one, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I'm sure there's a video or uh, somebody wrote an article on how to do that. Um, but I'm gonna cut into it right now. I'm just gonna go over to the phone uh, and show you how to set this up on your Android phone. And then I'll come back and have a little bit more to say about that. So let's jump into it. All right, I'm sure the sound isn't going to be great on this, so I'll keep this short. But one of the quickest and best ways you can uh, use Grayscale, there's different things you could do, like um, setting automations, um, bedtime mode, things like that. But if you want to just be able to turn this off and on at will, you can scroll down and come down here to your menu and click on the pencil icon here beneath where you can see airplane mode. Click on that. And if you scroll down, it's probably not showing for you but come down here to this gray grayed out area. And these are all the things that you can set on your phone uh, or in your menu, but that are not showing. So what we wanna look for is color correction. There it is right there. So you're just gonna tap and hold, and then you can move this up to where you want it to be. For me, I want it to be in the very first, um, I guess, set of uh, the windows. So what I mean by that is if I scroll down, I wanna see it right there. I don't wanna have to scroll over to all this other stuff. So. Now what happens is we can just tap that button and you can see it taking place already. Boom, grayscale. Want it off? No problem. Turn it off, you're back to normal. So relatively simple and pretty quick to set up. So as you can see, it's a relatively simple thing to do. Um, now, like I mentioned in the video where I was on the phone, there are probably some other things you could do. You could use this probably with like bedtime mode or quiet to uh, times or other automation tools you're using on the phone to maybe set some times to do this, but I just like having it on there. Um, although there maybe is a case to be made for saying, hey, at 9 a.m. or whenever you're starting your day, you know, you wanna kind of turn that off. Uh, there may be times you want uh, to be able to manually do it. So it's really up to you. Um, I suggest just taking it and uh, giving it a shot and seeing how it works for you. If like myself, you find yourself wondering what else could you do with your phone or how can you make it less, um, available so that it is less of a problem. I've talked about this previously, but there's some other things you can do here. Um, one of those is physically removing it from the vicinity of where you are, literally putting it outside of your reach um, can be a huge one. So maybe you do need it for an alarm or you're waiting for a phone call, then you know just put it outside of your hand's reach so you don't just pick it up. Oh, I'm just gonna check my email. Oh, I'm just gonna do that. Another one uh, along with that is putting it face down, right? So you don't see notifications pop up. Um, you're not seeing it you know, pop on if, you, if it thinks you're looking at it and it's trying to show you stuff. Um, both of those can work really well. And if you can have it outside of your workspace, put it in a different room, um, you know, put on do not disturb, turn off the alerts, all of that, put it somewhere else. So out of sight, out of mind. All right, hopefully this helps you. If you have any other questions or you're interested in automation, personal productivity, time management, things like this, check out the other videos on the channel or go to productivity.academy.